we've just arrived at Auschwitz and there are hundreds and hundreds of people from all over the world queuing up to get in here. I'm a bit apprehensive about coming here and it's, um, it's one of the most reassuring things I think I've ever seen. It's hundreds of people queuing up to learn from history. It's brilliant. I think one of the most interesting things, one of the things I've been most surprised by is the size of the place. I thought Auschwitz was just one camp, but there were three major camps here and there were 40, at least 40, uh, other satellite camps all around it, so it's like a city. This is block two in Auschwitz and it's normally closed to the public, so very special to be allowed in here. Sinks. And then round here is the toilet block. much you can say about Auschwitz anymore. I think the numbers just say it really. 1.1 million people killed here. A sixth of all of the Jews who were killed in the Holocaust died here. And they've got collections of all the belongings left behind, or some of them at least. 40,000 pairs of shoes. Well, that's only some of the shoes because loads and loads were actually destroyed by the Nazis just before the Russians came. So, they're doing more research now. There's a research department here trying to find out as much as they can about different aspects of it. Uh, currently, they're trying to understand what it was like for the SS guards here, trying to work out through personal testimony what it was like, how they had their wives visit. And they seem to have been allowed choice, essentially, of all of the personal items that were stolen. Uh, from the Jews, um, and they were given as gifts to their wives on occasion. Um, all the personal valuables, gold teeth, gold rings, were all melted down here and then sent to Berlin.